Hey, Stukulele from Uke Mullum here. Thanks for stopping by. So we did a poll on Patreon and out of a number of tunes, this one tied with another one. It is Credence Clearwater Revival's version of Cotton Fields, which is a request from my patron Terry Pierce. The other song that got the equal amount of votes was the Doobie Brothers Long Train Running. So stay tuned. So in this video, you're going to learn the chords, the strumming and the form of the song. And I'll also show you the intro riff as well as a little segue riff you can use in between the A section and the B section. Cotton fields back home. Let's have a look at the chords first. Okay, so the chords are D. G and A. This song originally was written by Lead Belly, who is one of the pioneering blues forefathers. And he's pretty much stuck to the basic blues form with a few little variations. Today I'm going to do something a bit different than what I usually do, I'm going to use uh, the box method, which I think is a really good way to help you remember the form of a song. So the intro goes like so. We've got two bars of D, one bar of A, split in half with a G chord, and then another bar of D. And then we stop. So it sounds like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, A to G. And then the singing comes in. When I was a little bit of baby, my mama would. G. We came in on the G chord. So we have G, two, three, four, back to D. Another bar of D. Another bar of D. Now A. It was back to D. Down in Louisiana. Just a matter G. Back to D. In them old A button fields back D to G to D. Okay, now we're into the B section of the song. When them cotton balls get rotten. Two bars of G back to D. Stay in the D. Old cotton fields back home. And you're on the A. It was back to D, Louisiana. Just about a G, back to the D. D to A. Half bar. And we stop. And then start again. You repeat it a few times and there's a solo in there. Go and uh, collect the chart from my Patreon page, which has the tabbed intro as well. Now, the cool thing is, if you want to learn how to play the solo, because I've done it in the key of D, it's the same shapes as what you would play on a guitar. So I'm going to link a really good uh, solo tutorial, and you can learn how to play it just by copying the shapes on the ukulele. It'll sound different because you're in a different key, but you'll find out where to put your fingers and how to play the solo. I just don't have time this week to do it. Okay. <laughs> hey, another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I need to upgrade my equipment. I've got a, a really nice camera, but I can't get uh, automatic focus. And so as a result, I've got a lot of um, kind of out of focus footage because I can't really control it. It's just me in here, me and the camera and the monitor. So I need to upgrade my gear, get a better mic. This one's broken. Look, look at it. It's hanging off of the side here like this. This shouldn't even do that. So one really good way that you could help out is by clicking the super thanks, little love heart thing down below. That'll give me a bit more funds to help upgrade. And I can keep making these videos even better, which is something I'd really like to do. I'd, I want to serve you guys well. I want you to learn how to play this instrument. I want you to learn about music and I want you to have a good time doing it with, you know, good quality videos. 
So that would be mostly appreciated if you could give us a super thanks down below. <laughs> of course, if you're liking this video, please give me a thumbs up, share me with your friends and leave me a comment below. You know I love to hear from you and I do requests. Okay, I'm going to show you how to play the intro and the, a little uh, kind of segue joining riff. So we start off with a pickup. So we come in on the beats two, three and four. So let's count the first bar and then we'll count the first beat of the second bar. One, two, three, four, one. That's two, three, four. And then we're on to one. One, two, three. Then we have a pull off from four to two. All together, those parts. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three. Now we're going to do a pull off on the bottom string on the second fret. And then hit the open A. And then we're going to go to the second fret. So we have, and then A. So all together. All together we have one, two, three, four, one. Now here's a tip. You want to keep your second finger on the string because when you let it go, you get that sound. So if you keep your finger there, you won't get that annoying little noise. Okay, now we're going to slide up so that we're, we've got four, five, two beats on that, slide that down. So we've got two, three, and then we're going to hit a D chord. Okay, all together. Okay, for the segue riff between the A section and the B section, we have Old Cotton Fields Back Home When them So we're doing a pull off from the fourth fret to the second fret on the C string and then a quick pull off and a hammer on from four to two on the G string. And then we end up on the second fret of the C string and then hit a D chord. So all together, one, two, three, four, one. One more time, really slow. One, two, three, four, one. Okay. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me all the way to the end of the video. That was quite the marathon. I really appreciate you still being here. You deserve a gold star. See you in the next one. The swirl in the sun. Swirl in the sun. And the swirl in the sky. Swirl in the sky. And the smile on the face. Smile